guys, it's Tara and welcome back to another video and another super delicious Instant Pot recipe. Thanksgiving is fast approaching, so I thought today I would show you how to make a delicious ham inside of your Instant Pot. You guys are not gonna believe how incredibly easy this is and how delicious it is. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video, and be sure to click the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. If you guys are ready to make this super delicious Instant Pot ham, smash that like button and let's jump right into the video. There are different varieties of ham that you can get. I love using a smoked ham for this recipe, but you use any kind of ham that you like. So I'm gonna add some brown sugar and some pineapple juice to a small bowl and just mix it together. And then I'm simply gonna apply this sauce to the ham. An alternative way of doing this would be to place the ham inside a Ziploc bag, it would be easier, but I did it this way. And once you've covered your entire ham, you're gonna grab your Instant Pot, add some water to the bottom and a trivet, place the ham inside, and then I'm just pouring the rest of the glaze over the ham. I'm adding a little bit more brown sugar. I wanna kinda of make a crust on the outside. Perfect. And then I'm gonna grab some cloves. I love using whole cloves when I'm making a ham because it really dresses up the ham and gives such incredible flavor. You can use as many or as few as you like and you just simply stick them inside of the ham. It doesn't have to be perfect and your ham will be beautiful. Next, we're gonna grab our lid, make sure the silicone ring is on, close the lid, set it to sealing on high pressure for 22 minutes. We're gonna allow 10 minutes of natural pressure. We're gonna perform a quick release, open the lid, and then I'm gonna grab my meat thermometer. Ham is perfectly cooked at 140 degrees. Remember, it's already been fully cooked and we're really just heating it through. I love this meat thermometer. It's super easy to use. I will link the one I'm using in the description box below. Next, we're gonna remove the ham from the Instant Pot and grab our air fryer. To finish this ham, I love using my air fryer to crisp up the outside and give the best flavor. If I had a crisping lid for my Instant Pot, I would, of course, use it. So if you have one of those, by all means, use it. If you don't have an air fryer or the crisping lid, you can, of course, crisp this up inside of your oven and it will be delicious. So I quickly realized I wasn't gonna be able to close my air fryer because it was too tall, so I'm just simply cutting the top off. I recommend checking this before you even start making the ham. Of course, don't throw that piece out, it's delicious. We're gonna bake this at 370 degrees for 10 minutes and while that's baking, we're gonna make our glaze. So I'm combining pineapple juice and brown sugar once again. Now we're gonna apply a light coating all over the ham. And I'm also gonna hit it with just a little bit of cooking spray. This will help to brown it, and I highly recommend it. And I'm adding the pineapple slices from the can and also putting a little bit of that sauce on the pineapple slices. Bake this for another 10 minutes. While I'm waiting for it to cook, I figured I would open up this bottle of dry red and have a delicious glass. I also added a little bit of cherry juice to this mixture. It just sounded like it would be so incredibly perfect. This step is optional, but if you have cherries, I highly recommend doing this. I also added a few cherries to the bottom of the air fryer to crisp those up just a little bit. And you're gonna bake it for only about two minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, until it's perfectly crispy for you. I'm gonna allow it to rest for at least five minutes and then I'm gonna slice it. Look at this incredibly delicious ham. Perfectly tender, moist, crispy on the outside, 
You guys have got to try this recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you have a chance to try it. Let me know any other recipe ideas you have for a future episode in the comments below. I'm gonna leave a playlist of some delicious, easy recipes on the screen over here if you'd like to check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.